Hello, welcome to Open Buildings Designer Connect Edition session. In this video, we will show you some basic architectural modeling. In the previous video, we built the structural model of our building. Let's now create a model of the architecture. To do that, we will create a new file and we will attach a reference of the structural model. I will select the references in the Common Tools tab and attach the right file. I will use the default settings for this reference. Then I will fit all the views, select the ground floor in floor selector, and I will switch off the additional grid in view attribute settings as I don't need it now. I am now ready to start modeling. I will start by placing stairs leading to both decks. I will select the model with steel stringers and open threads. I will adjust the height to match the difference of the floor levels and will set the width to 320 centimeters. Let's adjust its position by right-clicking and selecting Move. I can change the Snap Mode to Midpoint and I will place the object in between the steel columns of the deck. To confirm the placement, I will click the left mouse button. I will place the same type of stairs between the decks. I need to change the floor to lower terrace. I will set the right dimensions and then place the object defining its rotation. Now I can adjust the placement, moving it as before and taking advantage of different types of snaps, in this case midpoint type and of AccuDraw, locking the axis with Enter after having snapped to the desired point. To model the internal core of the building, I will make use of Clip Volume tool. We can find it between other functionalities on the view bar. By selecting the last option, I will be able to apply a fitted Clip Volume. And then we can select the Clip Volume tool again and select the first option by Element and click on our volume. Let's model the internal walls in the top view. I will select the Wall tool in Architectural tab and from the Expand list I will select New Default Interior Wall and adjust its parameters. I will set the Floor Selector to Upper Terrace, Base and Side Offsets to 0 and I can start drawing the first wall by line. I click and then I can type its length in AccuDraw tab, remembering to first make it active. I will then place the second wall. I will hover over the first wall and type O on my keyboard to set the origin of the AccuDraw. And I will type the value so that I can place the other wall at a defined distance from the first wall. I can now draw other walls, first changing the dimensions in the property panel and then again by using the origin of the echo draw and different placement settings and snap modes, I can easily draw other walls wherever I need. These walls will define two bathrooms and mechanical core of the building. The walls of the mechanical core should be connected directly to the roof of the building, so I will change their heights in the front wireframe view by clicking the handles that appear when I select the elements. And then I can snap them to the roof. I will modify the central parts of the other walls to create an internal floor-to-roof cubicoid. So I need to break the longer walls into smaller pieces with Break Element tool from the Modify tab and adjust their lengths. I will repeat the same for other parts and then connect the core walls to the roof. We can now check the effect of walls modeling, modifying the clip volume that we applied. Let's go back to the top view and place the doors. Also for this item we can set a lot of properties. As I want my door to be hidden in the wall, and be a continuation of the surface, I will scroll down to some extended settings for dimensions. I can then select a wall and define the direction of opening. I will move it closer to the perpendicular wall and use Modify Hand tool as I want the door to open in another direction. I will then copy the same type to be entrance to the other bathroom and mechanical core. 
I set the frame depth to match the wall, so door will be automatically adjusted to the other thickness of wall. I can use modify swing tool as well. I will detach the structural reference now and place ceiling for the core. I will use the slab tool and will select the catalog item ceiling plasterboard. It will be very fast if I use the flat method for the placement as the program will recognize the area I'm selecting. I will only set base offset for it and I can now simply click inside the two bathrooms areas and ceiling is ready. We can check it in the front view and let's check the model in the isometric view as well. Both things are placed correctly and the mechanical core has our building's roof as a ceiling. When in this view we can start modeling the caseworks around the core, we can find the tool in the architectural tab. I will place eight wall one door caseworks on one of the sides. I will set the dimensions and depth offset and I can then select the wall and confirm the placement with left click. I will then copy the casework and once it's done, we can move to the other side of the core. We can change the display style in the view attributes dialog to illustration, ignore lighting to see the model better without the shadows. We will place here other type of casework, bigger, tall, two door caseworks on both sides of the kitchen. Again, by selecting the wall and defining the rotation. Now let's model the smaller caseworks so we can place them by setting the base offset according to the casework we placed under it. Once it's done we can add base types that will serve also as a kitchen counter. So let's change the dimensions again, let's set the base offset to zero. Let's change the placement, base placement point and we can copy the object. The objects that got placed already can always be changed to other catalog item. We can select an object and click on modify properties tool that will let us change the type. In the change type menu we can deselect show all properties option to see only the new values being applied to the model. So I'm going to accept the new type but keep the previous dimensions of the element. In the end, I will create a wardrobe in the bedroom area by selecting casework again and using the tall type. I will place three of them and I will then use mirror option to change the direction of the middle one to make it face the living room area. We can also place some furniture that can be found under the object feature. I will select an armchair from the list. I will place it and define the rotation angle. Finally, we can create the curtain walls for the building. I will attach the structural reference again and then I will select the curtain wall tool from the architectural tab. I will use the generic maximum spacing type, but I will adjust the dimensions. I will modify the values for the horizontal and vertical spacing, the height in the placement tab, and I will set the offsets to zero. I can now place it by drawing lines in the top view. And let's check the effect with the clip volume. The curtain wall is ready. The mullions, frames and glazing of the curtain wall can be modified. I will simply adjust the mullions in the entrance part using the handles that appear when we click on them. This panel can be changed to a door. We need to select it and use modify curtain wall sub elements. Here we can choose door double, except in the view and the door is ready. Finally, we can delete the clip volume, change view to perspective and see our ready model of the Harnsworth house. We hope you've enjoyed this session. Here you can find some more information about Open Buildings Designer Connect Edition. And please don't forget to subscribe and like our page. Thank you.